Found in the subways of Boston Common, Vault 114 was to only house the elite. However, the luxuries of 114 were highly exaggerated to the future dwellers. Living quarters, dining, and bathing areas were shared by multiple families, and amenities were minimal. Unlike most vaults, the overseer was not a current member of Vault Tech. The personnel at Vault 114 were tasked with interviewing individuals outside of the organization. The goal of the interviews was to find someone with zero supervisory or government experience and who had a strong anti-authority bias. The interviews proved successful as they found their new overseer, a man known only as Soupcan Harry. Soupcan accepted the position on one condition. He wouldn't wear a tie or pants. Soupcan was the perfect candidate. He believed that the government used tax money to fund Illuminati Freemason fun parties. He refers to his actual name as the rank and number the government brands on him, and he occasionally eats a Braxo cleaner, refusing to adhere to the toxic warning and claiming that he'll eat what he wants. Unfortunately, Soupcan and everyone else associated with the vault would never make it to 114, as it never finished construction before the Great War. In 2287, it's occupied by Skinny Malone's gang, the Trigger Men. 